Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to edit your transmission torrent box and to have it point to an external hard drive. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is connect to our Raspberry Pi. In this case my IP for mine is 192.168.0.56 with username Pi. I'm just going to log into that using my SSH client. Once I'm in there, I'm going to do a sudo su to make myself a super user. Well, I have to stop transmission from running in order for us to edit its config file. So we will stop transmission using sudo space systemctl space stop space transmission dash daemon. Hit return and that's now stopped. I'll clear the screen just to make this a little bit easier. What we need to do is if you've been following this tutorial up until now, then you'll know how we have set up our server, our actual torrent box, how we've set up our external hard drive. So in this case, my external hard drive is mounted to MNT slash torrent. So let's change to that. Okay, now if I ls in here, you can see the test files from when I tested it. So let's just delete test. Oh, in fact, it's RM. Test. The screen, if I do LS, it's just a lost and found. Don't worry so much about that just now. So, what we need to do is we need to create some folders in here. We need to create one called complete. So, mkdir complete, as in make their complete, and mkdir down again. Okay, so now that we've created those folders, I play this screen again and do LS. You can see I now have a downloading and a complete folder. Now what we have to do is change the permissions of those folders so that our Raspberry Pi has permissions to write to it from transmission. To do that, we do sudo eho, which is change owner, dash r, which includes recursive directories, pi colon pi, because that's the username that we've set up for this transmission server, and then the folder we wish to change it to, so slash mnt torrents complete, and then we do the same, but we do it for downloading. Okay. So we've now changed the permissions to it, so they should now have permissions to write to that. Now we have to edit the config file so that the config file points directly to the correct folder. So let's just do that just now. To do that, we use sudo space nano, which is our editor, space slash etc slash transmission dash daemon slash settings dot json. So you'll remember this file from when we went down the bottom here and we changed the password for the user and we changed the username and we disabled the whitelist, if you remember correctly. So the part that we're interested in is further up the top here. You can see we have a download there, which is currently pointing to var lib transmission daemon slash downloads, and we have an incomplete there. So basically the download there should be changed to slash mnt slash torrent slash complete and down here to incomplete there it should be changed to slash mnt slash torrents slash downloading okay we do control x come out of that and we answer yes to the question then we need to restart transmission and we do that with the command sudo space systemctl space start space transmission dash daemon so hopefully that's happened and worked correctly I shall bring in my transmission page. As you can see, it had issues since I stopped it. So if I just hit turn on that again to reload, and that looks fine. So let's go find a torrent to download. Okay, I've copied the link to an Ubuntu torrent. So if I click open up here, and I paste in the URL, you can see here the destination folder is mnt slash torrent slash complete. I click upload. Hopefully this will work. There we go. Does it start to download? And there we go. It has started to download. So if we go back to our terminal. And I do the OS. And I change to the downloading folder. Do the OS again. Nothing there. I change to the complete folder. There's nothing there. And that's because it's currently downloading it to a temporary folder. Okay, we'll have to set the permissions on folders. In order to do this, we should do chmod 
766 plus 768 rather for downloads slash downloading rather and then the same for complete hopefully if we try that and download now you can see it's downloading correctly and that is how you configure transmission use an external hard drive. I'll let this complete and then I'll show you that it's actually downloaded correctly. Okay, as you can see that's actually completed. So hopefully now if I go back here and I change to my completed folder and go any less, there we go, you can see it's downloaded to the Ubuntu ISO. If you like this video give it a like. If you dislike this video give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, Thank you for watching.